हेलो टीम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड एफर्ट्स टू ब्रिंग सच हैंड्स ऑन वीडियोज फॉर यू एंड एज यू नो वी अपलोड वीडियोज ऑन डेली बेसिस एट नाइन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्रिशिएट माई एफर्ट्स एंड हार्ड वर्क यू कैन जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ओके नाउ कमिंग टू टूडेज वीडियो सो टूडे आई फाउंड ए रियली इंटरेस्टिंग अप्लीकेशन विच इज हैविंग फ्रंट एंड बैक एंड एंड ए डेटा बेस ऑल्सो ओके so let me show you the application so this is the application which is basically a pet store where you can buy pets okay so this is the format this is the first page that you will see once you deploy the application for example let's say if i click on this dog icon okay so if it will take me to different uh, options in dog which we can get okay for example we have this dalmatian if i click on it you can see it will be added okay so uh, also like if you want to get more details you can just click on this one and you can see a dog pic picture and little bit detail about uh, what that uh, dog is okay similar to that we have uh, here also here also we can click and we can get any details for example if you want to buy amazon parrot we can click on this okay uh, so before if, let's say that you want to see the picture you can click on this one item id and here you can see the picture if you are okay then you can click on add to cart and it will take you to cart so you can see uh, quantity also also given you can increase or decrease the quantity based on your requirement and if everything fine you can click on proceed to checkout okay now to uh, like when you go to checkout it will ask you for a username and password in case you are new you can just click on register now and you can see all the details it is asking so that you can register so what are whatever details you fill here that will be stored in a local database okay which also gets deployed once this application is deployed okay So in this video, what we are going to do is basically build and deploy this application using uh, Maven and Docker. Also, side by side to make sure to secure our pipeline steps, we will be using several uh, security tools. For example, for code quality check, we will be using Sonar Cube. Then for uh, like finding out vulnerabilities in our source code, we will be using OWASP dependency check. Also, to scan our Docker image, we will be using Trivi. Okay, so everything I will show you step by step. also in previous uh, videos uh, several of you have share, said that we are facing some issues so i would just request you watch the video till end so that you you can execute all the steps shared by me okay because if you are not watching the uh, video completely and skipping and directly trying it by yourself then you might face some issue then again like uh, it won't be very easily possible for me to help in that way okay so just requesting you watch the video till end so that you can understand each step that i will be doing to build and deploy this application okay okay so with that being said let's get started okay team so you can see i have created my jenkins okay one more thing i want to bring to notice is that like last time someone commented that uh, docker creating container was failing for the reason that uh, on port 8080 jenkins was running see the thing is like most of the projects where who are using docker file to create docker containers and all But, uh, like by default they usually go with 8080 container so you want to like avoid that problem so make sure that your jenkins is installed on different port if you can see here i have installed it on 8081 port in case you want to know how did i do that like you can just comment the same thing in the comment section next video i can make it on like how we can change the port okay okay now coming to the uh, ci cd pipeline so first of all this is the project that we are going to build, uh, build and deploy and there are actually multiple ways to build and deploy but the best way uh, like is using like build, uh, first uh, building the application using maven then using docker we can create container and side by side we can execute all other steps which are very useful okay so i will show you that's why i am saying like just watch it step by step whole video so that you don't like uh, uh, like uh, fall into any problems for creating the pipelines okay okay so first of all before creating the job let's install some plugins so that we can use them in our pipeline okay so first of all go to available plugins and search for jdk and yeah click on install without restart meanwhile it getting installed we will install other plugin which is uh, sonar so we are going to use sonar cube scanner also install that as well then we have owasp okay so this also will be using and 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 one last plugin which we need is uh, docker okay so for docker someone commented which uh, docker plugins to use first of all this one is definitely 
then since this is uh, like docker pipeline and docker i think these two are also necessary i'm not sure but these two are definitely required docker and docker pipeline okay so we will install these as well and here we can track the prog progress you can see till os everything installed so to configure these plugins basically we need to go to back to manage jenkins here okay then go to global tool configuration and and also see if you are new to jenkins you can just watch my jenkins full course where i have taught everything from scratch how to do and like whatever so you can watch that then you can watch my these real time ci cd pipeline videos that will be really helpful for you okay okay so now we will be installing jdk 11 version scroll down and here since sonar cube we are going to use for executing the code quality check so let's install that as well sonar dash scanner okay and the version i want to use is the latest one again scroll down and maven also we need to have so maven 3 i want to install a uh, specific version which i want to use is uh, maven 3.6.0 scroll down and finally we will add dependency check also so i will just provide a name as dp okay and install automatically we can just uh, click on this one and check a uh, select a version so i have been using from quite some time 6.5.1 so i will just go with that okay so all the plugins except docker we have configured and just refresh it then docker option will be available so we can configure that as well you can see now docker option is available so we will just add it also okay docker and click on install automatically add installer then do, uh, download from docker.com and i want to use the latest version click apply okay the reason that i say that go with the latest version because there are certain uh, after like with the new version there are certain changes which are only which could only be executed with the latest version so i'm going with the latest version okay so all the plugins we have configured now we just need to start creating our job so we'll click on create a job okay here let's provide a name as a pet store because that is the application that we are going to build and deploy today click on pipeline click on okay okay one more thing i want to say you that uh, make sure to follow me on github the reason that i say so because usually i also find so many like different ready to deployment projects okay and to make sure that you are also able to use that uh, for doing your own poc you can just follow me so whenever i add a new repository to my a github account you will be getting notified okay also like see just for you uh, like i actually search for multiple projects and every time i have to before showing it to you i have to execute it on my local machine so if it fails i don't share it with you because there is no point if it succeed and if it works fine then only i push it on my github account and for the same reason like i am saying definitely follow me on github so that you can access all of my public repositories okay and all the repositories that i have are like the ready to deployment application which you can use to do your own poc okay okay now coming here in general make sure to like select this option discard old builds and make sure you keep just two as number of uh, builds to keep in history because that will save uh, some amount of space okay and if you are new select the template version okay okay now scroll down okay let me make it bigger yeah okay so first step first stage that we want to have is always the git checkout and git checkout in case you don't know is basically done so that like the local copy of the repository can be created on your local machine okay then we will use the pipeline syntax and select the git here okay now here we need to provide the git uh, repository url so it is public so we don't uh, don't need to provide the credentials okay Uh, if i scroll down you can see here it is asking for branch so we will just check you can see branch name is master so we will put the same okay and credential it is not required because it is public in case a repository is private you don't put username password you need to put username and token okay which i will show you in uh, some other day okay now coming to generate pipeline script so this is the script for uh, like creating a local copy of uh, github okay so we will paste it here Okay so next step that we want to have in our pipeline is to compile the source code for finding out if if there is any like uh, uh, syntactic based error in our source code okay so i will provide the name as compile and make sure you understand that you remember that no two stages can have the same name because they, uh, then your pipeline will be failing okay 
so here we need to run maven clean compile which we will run by enclosing our command inside shell script by the in this format and then we will run maven maven clean compile okay okay now you are saying see since we are uh, like calling maven executable but we have not defined it and if you re if you are, if you have been watching my videos from quite some time you should know that whenever i always mention whenever whenever we are going to use a new tool we need to define it in our a uh, pipeline for a global scope okay so the format for defining it is using tools curly braces inside it then the format is uh, tool type then tool name so tool type first of all we will be defining jdk tool type is jdk and name we have mentioned jdk 11 which you just saw in the starting of the video we configured it in global tool configuration okay then we have next tool is maven tool type is maven and tool name which we configured was maven 3 right uh, 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 let me yeah maven 3 okay so now clean compile would be able to run so after compilation basically we want to run code quality check which is like a security tool for your pipelines okay so what what does code quality do basically code quality check what it does it finds out if there is any bugs code smell technical debt vulnerabilities or any other issue in your source code and you know why it is so useful is because it basically highlights the section of your source code where the issue is occurring so when that section is highlighted then it is very easier for you to fix that issue okay i will show you how it works but first let me create the stage for it okay okay so third stage which we, which we want to have is uh, uh, sonar cube analysis okay and before again like sonar cube is a different tool which we are going to use in our pipeline so for that also we need to define its executable okay so for that we will create an environment r o n m e n t environment curly braces here we need to uh, like uh, provide the home path of our tool okay so i will provide in the format of scanner underscore home equal to then we have tool and in single quotes we can provide the name of the tool that we configured if you remember it was sonar dash scanner okay now this tool is configured and here we need to provide the st uh, steps okay okay now since uh, we have not like created a sonar cube server so let's do that first so if I go to my server on which I am running everything, okay, clear this sudo su. See, that is the reason I am saying just watch everything step by step till end. Then only you will understand everything. Like as you are seeing everything, I am doing from scratch, right? Okay. So to create a Sonar Cube server, we can use Docker Docker com Docker run command to create a container, okay? So the format goes docker run hyphen d to run in detached mode that is to put the logs in background we don't need to see it on the screen right now okay name of the server uh, name of the container which we can provide is just sonar then on a port i want to make it run is on 9000 port okay and the docker image which we want to use is sonar cube uh, 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 sonar cube then uh, lts community this is the free version basically there are two versions of sonar cube which is developer and community community is completely free but with a limited features but as per my view it is like more than enough for you okay so this much we have created we just click need to click enter and it should start fetching the uh, docker image and start creating the container you can see it is downloading and extracting the docker image of sonar cube it should be able to create the sonar cube container in a second okay so let it do okay image downloaded and here you can see this id is there that means our container is created so to access the container what we can do we can copy our ip address okay on which we have created paste it and if you remember the port that we provided was 9000 click enter okay you can see sonar cube is starting so let it start meanwhile it is starting what we can do i can get started here with the uh, steps to run sonar cube analysis okay so basically like in sonar cube analysis we have a long like long line of code which we will write in uh, like uh, multiple lines okay so in jenkins when you are having multiple lines of code what you need to do you need to write it in format of sh shell sh for shell and in three quotes three quotes means there is multi line code okay now here we need to call our executable which is uh, scanner which we defined on environment upside if you can see see okay uh, scanner home slash bin slash sonar dash scanner okay okay 
now again here if i go uh, yeah so sonar cube is set up now we need to log in so if you are doing it for the first time the id password by default is admin admin okay click uh, provide the details click uh, login and it you should be able to uh, come on this update password page so let's update our password okay and confirm password okay click on update and yeah sonar cube is up and running now first thing that you need to do is uh, go to administration go to security then users here if you see the just one user is there which is administrator and here the uh, other options is their tokens okay basically for authentication our sonar cube with jenkins we need to have tokens so we will generate it click here and you can see this token is generated now how to use it i will show you right now okay so executable we have called now we need to use some uh, arguments which is dsonar dot url okay dsonar dot url here i think you already know what we need to provide basically the uh, url of our sonar cube server which is this one i will just paste it here then we need to provide the dsonar dot login and here we will provide the uh, token for authentication okay so let's just copy and paste it here also in case you are very new to sonar cube you can watch my uh, sonar cube full tutorial you will understand everything okay okay next argument we need to use is dsonar dot project name okay so project name i want to use at pet store because that's what we are going to deploy okay and in case to move to next line you can just provide this slash click enter and you are on next line okay let me expand this yeah okay so next argument which we need to use is dsonar.java.binaries whatever arguments i am showing here they are like they are going to be very critical for you because if you miss any single argument that i am showing here your analysis and even whole pipeline job will be failing okay so just remember it maybe note it down somewhere and just do as i am doing okay and one last argument which we need to have is dsonar dot uh, project then key okay i hope okay spelling is wrong and that is what it might cause issue okay project key okay so i will provide the same name as we did for pet store okay now to close the shell uh, enclosure we can just again put three dots okay three quotes yeah so as of now like uh, these stages we have configured let's conf configure the rest of the stage so that we can just directly run all the stages at once okay okay so next step uh, next stage we want to have is wasp dependency stage OWASP dependency okay so what it does basically it scans your whole source code for finding out if there is any commonly known vulnerabilities in your source code okay now this the thing is that uh, OWASP dependencies uh, command is little bit different it uses certain arguments okay which i have written separately and let me copy paste it yeah this one and let me explain it as well so that you can understand how it is working okay so if i go back here paste it here okay you can see basically three arguments are there first one is the dependency check additional arguments basically here we need to provide the uh, argument for example there are actually multiple argument for example scan it means that uh, which folder we want to scan so i have put a dot slash that means i want to scan whole root directory there are other arguments like dot dot format and here you can provide the format in which you want to generate your report okay then we have odc installation basically we need to provide the name of installation that we configured in our jenkins and in case you want to see it let me open it and show you what we configured so if i go to manage jenkins uh, go to manage uh, global tool configuration scroll down to dependency check here you can see we have configured with the name dp okay so same thing we i have just put here and next argument we have dependency check publisher pattern basically this is the default pattern or default format of the file in which the report will be generated okay so what i want to do now this much stages let's uh, this much stages let's run and if it runs fine then we can uh, complete our next stages okay so here we should be able to see the progress i have just built it you can see it has started okay and here if you look closely you will see uh, the plugins or the tools that we have defined in our uh, pipeline they are running since we have run the pipeline for the first time they are unpacking basically it is getting installed okay 
so first you can see sonar scanner got installed then it is installing jdk 11 okay so let it do and what i want to since just to save time we can configure rest of the stages here okay so i will go to configure and scroll down make it here okay so next stages we want to configure so let's create the next stages okay so once the security analysis of our source code has been completed we can start building the uh, real application to generate the artifact which is the jar file okay so here i can write the stage name as build and here we need to run the build command so in my case i'm using a java based project we can write inside shell enclosure as mvn clean install okay so this will generate an artifact and put it in a local rep dot, dot local repository which is dot m2 as well as inside target folder okay so once this is done then what we want to do is generate or create the docker image okay okay now writing the docker stage is little bit critical but uh, don't worry i am here so i will explain here let's provide the name as uh, build uh, build and push i want to do build and push uh, 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 docker image okay okay so first of all first thing that you need to know for building and pushing a docker image you need to make sure that your commands are inside a script and script format is like this one okay and to generate the commands for uh, docker we can go to we can use pipeline syntax let's open it in a new page meanwhile okay we can see some issue came in our pipeline okay compilation was fine not authorized analyzing this project by authentication please provide this user token sonar.login okay i guess we did not provide the uh, token let's do that right now okay token i think i have provided mm -mm 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 -mm, sonar. okay spelling was wrong i'm really sorry this is what happens when i type so fast you can see dsonar.login the token should be fine click on apply and let's start the build again okay it should be started yeah okay so let it run again we will go here and here we need to find in pipeline syntax one option which says with docker registry second or last option you can see with docker registry okay okay so we are going to use a public docker hub repository but uh, since it's a public one we don't need to provide registry url but we need to provide registry credentials which we can create from here so here we will provide the username and i am going to type very slowly because again i don't want to do any mistake yeah so password also written description we can just provide as docker credential click add okay and here we can select that now docker installation we already configured which is the latest one generate pipeline script now script is generated we will copy this and go back to our pipeline okay 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 yeah okay so now we need to write the command for building and uh, pushing the docker image which we can do using shell because we are that that's a shell command okay so as i mentioned previously also when we want to run shell commands we can write uh, inside shell enclosure with double quotes so first command that i want to run is docker build hyphen t then a name of the image which will be pet store yeah that's fine pet store and then dot dot means that our like docker file is on root directory which is here let me show you a little bit about the docker file as well okay so that you can understand what exactly is happening inside docker file okay i don't know why every time like github is like very slow while when whenever i open any pages or something okay mm -mm -mm -mm. where it is where's the docker file it's very slow here yeah see first of all what we are doing we are using open jdk 17 a through container and here copy we are copying the whole thing inside uh, like on our server where we are going to create the container we are defining which word, word work directory is there then we are running the clean package command to generate the artifact and finally we are running this command to deploy our application on tomcat server okay okay now coming back here 
yeah so docker build command we have run next we want to run the docker push command okay okay before push command basically we need to tag our docker image so that it can be pushed to docker hub repository which we can do using docker tag then the old name of the image which is pet store it is store and new name should be in the format first username adi jaiswal in my case slash uh, any name you want which is pet store and a uh, tag so tag i will go with latest okay so we have tagged our docker image next thing we want to do is push it so sh double quotes docker push and the name of the docker image which we have just tagged which is which is this one okay so let's paste it here and that should be good meanwhile let's see if our uh, okay pipeline is still running if i scroll down the thing is when you are like doing the installing this uh, uh, sorry when you are doing this os dependency check for the first time it downloads lots of like information lots of dependencies okay from like internet so that takes a little bit of time till 2030 23 it downloads it basically downloads the database of like whatever uh, commonly known vulnerabilities are present okay so you can see now it has started the uh, the analysis of our uh, uh, source code okay so it will take like few second few more seconds you can see analysis started let's go back and track the progress yeah here you can see the report generated with the name which we have already defined and job is success now okay so next step next stage next two stages we have which is docker build to generate the artifact and doc uh, uh, sorry we have first step we have build the application to generate the artifact then docker build and push for the docker image okay so once this uh, docker image is build, uh, created what we want to do is scan this docker image okay so basically let me remove this trivi yeah so here we need to write a command to scan our uh, docker image trivi in case you are wondering from where trivi will be coming so basically what i have done i have uh, set up uh, like i have installed trivi on my machine and the steps to install it you can see this is here i will add it in the description as well the whole tutorial also okay so here the command that i want to write is trivi image and the name of the docker image so that is this one copy this and paste it here okay so this is fine click on apply and this should be yeah uh, uh, yeah so now this should be able to build our application okay so once this everything goes good then we can deploy our application okay some error came stage trivi what exactly is the error let's see go to configure scroll down let me expand this little bit Trivi, trivi, trivi. Okay, let's try again. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, multiple. I think we have uh, that. Yeah. Okay, this should be fine now. Let's click on. Up. it is giving okay 1 okay i think yeah we have missed the braces here and 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 now this should be fine i guess now okay let's see click on build now and yeah build has started let's uh, track the progress here we can see it is running uh, yeah compilation is being run now okay so we can track the progress even from this place okay 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 compile again it failed let's see what the error is god again why it is coming here let's go to configure okay i think i did not saved or what d sonar let me close first this one d sonar d sonar this is fine os is fine 
factory V and everything fine. Now it should be good. Let's build it now. That is what happens when you are doing everything runtime and dynamically. Errors will come and you need to fix it. I am thinking like to keep a separate session for like uh, troubleshooting. How, what is the best way to troubleshoot things or troubleshoot pipelines, okay? Okay. Okay, this time it should not fail. You can see it is running fine. Sonar cube analysis. Also like OS dependency check, it should not take uh, much time because we have already downloaded all the dependencies required to uh, like scan the source code. Okay, scroll down, analysis successful. Yeah, meanwhile, let me show you how it how it looks in Sonar Cube. Okay, so here you can see pet store it has created, and you can see like so many issues are there in our source code. Total 6,700 lines of code is there. Duplications is 5.2 percent. Code smell is 79 bucks. We are having 67. If I open this, if we go to issues in detail, you can see like whichever section is having issues, you can see here see so everything like sonar cube is really useful if you know how to use it so you can it will just provide you all the information where the issue is there you can just like try to fix it okay so i hope you understand like why i always say to use sonar cube okay and here yeah i think we are in maven build stage yeah so let's see if these two stages are successful or not if they are then we'll be able to deploy our application successfully let's see the progress see it is downloading all the dependencies for building the application <sighs> okay it is running the test cases now see usually like when you are having too many test cases you can even skip them directly because if any single test case fails then whole job will fail so i think there is a way i have already told like using an argument okay again we failed i think test results is an issue this is very bad yeah let me fix it what we can do for avoiding the test results we can use an argument this this skip test equal to true if i save this and that should do the task so let's try it again yeah progress we can see here scroll scroll down okay team so as we can see the docker image creation and push is done you can see the docker image if we go to uh, repositories okay okay let me refresh yeah here you can see pet so okay spelling mistake no issues it has just last last push two minutes ago okay and here also in pipeline you can see it is the job is success okay now what i want to do basically i want to deploy the application right but if i add the stage here again again it will take a lot of time so what i instead what i am going to do is create a separate pipeline for deployment okay let's do that pet store and deploy okay and here we can select the pipeline option click on okay and yeah here we can configure scroll down and uh, here we will select hello world template and here we want to provide the stage name as deploy okay okay so the command we need to run so as i mentioned like we need to run docker command okay so docker command we need to run inside a script so for that we can copy the little bit of script from our previous pipeline let me x open this and 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 yeah from here till here we can copy how many code so one two okay so we can copy it copy from there and paste it here okay and we want to deploy the application so we need to run the docker run command okay so that we can do using this docker run hyphen d then hyphen p 
80 80 port okay now we need to provide the image name so image name we can get it from here uh, 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 yeah let's copy the image name till this one and tag we will provide from our end if i go back here latest is the tag okay two, 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 yeah this should work fine click on apply and let's try to deploy our application so the progress it should be st okay okay it's very nice it create it deployed very easily okay okay so to access the application we can copy the ip address go to browser paste it here here 8080 80, and in slash we need to provide this much click enter Okay, so you can see, welcome to JPET store six, click on enter, enter the store and it, it will be taking you to the store page. And here, everything is running fine along with database, front end, back end. Okay, so I hope this was a useful video. So many errors we faced. And I hope if you are facing the same kind of error in your, jo uh, in your pipeline also, then you'll, you would be able to fix it now, okay? So that's all for today's video and I hope this video was useful. So thanks for watching.